Headset, you've been very good to me throughout all of these years. You are actually a replacement. I think twice, actually. I have used this headset for years on my channel. Some would even go as far to say as it's my thing. I feel like anyone's entitled to wear a pink headset, but uh, this one, this one's mine. As you guys know, my headsets usually don't fare well a lot of the time and uh, had issues with this headset uh, in particular, not so much as far as like sound quality and all that stuff, but it's just kind of old and there are better things out there now. <laughs> it took a lot and I'm highly, highly, highly appreciative of uh, them sending me another one. Years and years ago, this headset that I'm using right now in particular, the longest time they completely got rid of the whole color thing that they had going on. They had red ones and yellow ones and pink ones, obviously. And if you guys don't know the original story of my headset, I was originally going to get a red headset I think that was probably the color I was gonna go with I'm not big on yellow not big on like green or anything like that I did have a black headset for a while I think maybe a white one for a short period of time as well while I was in between transitioning the headset's been broken multiple times and now this one the ear cups are falling off of it I actually have like little sticky things on the inside that's what these little white things are They're like these little adhesive things where I basically just stuck the ear cups onto it night this poor fucking guy it even took me a while to turn around on i mean holy shit man come on now i haven't used the paladin in a few days so i forgot how nice this shit actually feels now over the years phase a lot of the time whenever they get sponsorships we have these sponsorships as well and over that time we've had a lot of different sponsorships and all this other shit and people would be sending me headsets i've got multiple headsets like i could say at least four or five different kinds of headsets but here's the issue i refused to wear them because they were not pink you know what i mean because i already know people would have a fucking field day if i changed change my headset to any other color <laughs> and I mean honestly at this point it's just it's a part of everything so I originally had gotten a pink headset to support my friend Michael whose mother had breast cancer and ever since then it's just kind of stuck with me I did get a custom one one time which is very nice and I definitely appreciate that I'll hang on to that forever hang on to all these headsets even the broken ones I have a broken one right there I have the same exact pair right here just broken as fuck over there all taped up on the corner you guys remember that but with our current sponsorship with Steel Series, these guys are so fucking cool right at the start when they started talking to me about you know oh we're gonna send you another headset and i said oh yeah you know i kind of have to wear a pink headset you know what i mean it just thank you so much for sending this and all this other stuff i need a pink one you know and these guys actually went and made a pink headset for me so they sent me this i don't know if the packaging is any different at all at the moment it's a prototype but now we have another pink headset it's a steel series arctic pro i don't know if there are any other ones in the world like this at the moment they're so clean they're so nice and i'm just a big fan so this will very likely be my last video with this headset unless some crazy ass shit happens i don't know i know people are weird about sponsor stuff but these guys genuinely really cared to go and make me a custom thing so it really really just thank you guys for that again steel series thank you i've needed a new headset for a long time it's been very obvious i mean my thing has just been pieced together in any way that i could possibly have it pieced together obviously i could have went and bought a different headset but finding a pink headset that i genuinely like is it's pretty difficult so again thank you guys eliminated secret Threat destroyed Paladin is just so consistent. I love this thing. Probably gonna have the final kill cam here. Destroy that thing, save my teammate. All pro right there. That was just such a cool lineup. Waited for that guy to peek out. Finally did single. Boop. I love this shit. The fucking Paladin is so good. It's so good. Uh, you might see some videos here and there where this headset will be there and then it'll be the other headset and stuff like that. Right now, it's just, you know, weird times, but it figured out for sure. I mean, I just can't get over how pretty it is. It's so beautiful. And there's also some more information coming on that whole thing, by the way. So if you think it looks nice, it's just getting started. I'm just saying there's some more stuff coming. So I'm excited. I'm super excited about it. I remember when I got my first headset and I sat around in an MW2 lobby, I think with my cousin or somebody, and I just closed my eyes and I just had the person just walk circles around me be like all right man where am i then i would tell him and everybody was freaking out i know it sounds so minuscule now but man the first time i got a headset was such a cool and magical moment everybody knows at this point you pretty much need a headset oh which one should i get and all this other stuff that's usually what it is now planted nowhere to hide 
I think at that time, I just got, like, the entry-level shit. I mean, I don't think any of it was, like, super advanced at that time. This was, like, MW2 days, so I don't even know. I, I spent, like, $50, $60 on the headset or some shit like that at that time. And it just felt like it just completely elevated my game, I mean. There are also some people that, you know, do unique things. Have a headset, and then they'll have, like, earbuds inside of the headset, and then the earbuds will just be music or uh, things like that. I know some people that just don't even have a headset, and they just have earbuds or something like that. Like, sure, directionally, it's not perfect, but sometimes you just kind of need, like, a general idea of where somebody is to just have the edge. They're done. No. He's watching the kill cam. <laughs> just a jump shot, man. You're good. Hey, we got the kill cam too. I was in the middle of talking during this, so I was trying to wait for a lineup. I knew that guy wasn't going to see me. Got the two piece, three piece. Ooh, four piece was pretty close to a collapse, but and then the other guy died. For a good amount of time when I first got a headset, I felt like I was fucking cheating. Because at that time, a lot of other people didn't have it except like the super, super sweats or pro players or whatever. So being a sniper that was using it back then, there was a period of time where it started gaining traction and people were like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to use this shit now. The headsets just changed gaming forever. At least during, you know, my experience in gaming on Call of Duty specifically anyway. I'm sure other places already had headsets and doing all this other crazy shit, but at that time, it was huge. Yesterday's video, I don't know what the fuck happened. I covered the whole thing about the black market down here in the bottom left. If you guys still don't really know what the fuck this whole operation thing is, it's really grindy, and honestly, looking at it now, obviously, I haven't played too many games because, uh, you know, I'm super busy at the moment, but it seems like it takes a really long time to level up this whole tier thing, and having 50 days... Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later. Yeah!